All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to assess finance charges automatically using QuickBooks. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you have finance charge preferences set, set up correctly. So you want to go up to Edit and Preferences. All right, and under Finance Charge Preference here, you're going to go into My Company Preferences. And you're going to put in the percentage here. So if you put in here 1%, for example, then it's actually going to do, since it's an annual interest rate, it's going to do 1 divided by 12. So if you want 1% per month, you want to put in here 12% because that annualizes over, you know, when that's annualized, that's 1% per month. Okay. Again, if it's 1.5% you, you want to charge, you want to make this 18%. All right, so the minimum finance charge here. Uh, so you want to make sure, you, you know, if you are going to put in a finance charge, you, you want to make sure that you're not charging 50 cents or, you know, whatever it is that you, you want to have. What's your minimum finance charge where you don't want it to create one if it's below this amount? So we're going to go ahead and say $5. All right, your grace period. So Yes, somebody has terms of net 30 occasionally, then they might still pay in, you know, net 40. And you don't really want to assess a finance charge on the 10 days because that could be something with mailing, you know, who knows. So you can get them a little grace period. So say we don't want to assess finance charges until net 45 or until 15 days past when the invoice is due. Okay, and then you have your finance charge account. So when you create the finance charge invoices, which account is it going to go into? And so you should be creating a, an other income account called finance charges. All right. Then you have an option. Do you want to assess finance charges on overdue finance charges? So in this case, we had a $200 invoice and uh, let's say $2,000 invoice. And uh, the finance charge for the month, last month, was $20. So now they owe us $2,020. Do you want to assess a finance charge on $2,020? Or do you want to just continue to assess the finance charge on the $2,000? All right. So when you make that decision, first of all, you want to check your, your local laws to make sure that you're allowed to assess finance charges on overdue finance charges. And Intuit gives you that warning, too. But the way I've seen it is most people don't, okay? So here's another option. Do you want to calculate your charges from the due date? So do the U.S. start assessing finance charges from the date it's due or from the original invoice date? Again, you want to check and make sure if there's any rules or laws in your area. Mostly people do it from the due date, okay? Then you also have the choice to mark finance invoices because that's what it creates when it does a finance charge. It doesn't create a statement charge. It creates an actual invoice. So do you want to mark finance charge invoices to be printed? Yes or no? I usually say no to that because if you're creating a finance charge, you don't want to just send them that one invoice for the finance charge. You want to send them a statement to say, here's what you owe us and here's why. Okay, so you owe us this $2,000. So now we've assessed two $20 finance charge statements because you haven't paid us for 60 days, 90 days. Okay. So we set up our preferences. Now we're going to go ahead in and uh, assess finance charges. All right. So our assessment date, I'm going to spit it ahead a couple little bit. So uh, it doesn't add Oh, there we go. And add some extras in there. Okay. So now it says, based on this, we would assess our finance charges. You can see it's 1% of what's due. Um, so here, all of, all of these finance charges would be made up. Let's say we know that this isn't a project that's finished and we really don't want to create that finance charge. And so you can, you can go through and check mark off the ones that you want and the ones that you don't want to assess charges on. All right. Again, you have the ability here to uh, mark the invoices to be printed if you want to. Okay. Um, you can look at collection history here. Um, so you can see the collections report on this and see why we want to create this uh, statement or this finance charge. 
And then we're just going to go ahead and say assess charges. It's warning me it's more than 30 days in the future. I got it. Okay, so it creates those invoices. Now if I go into create invoices and I go to previous, here's finance charge five. And it tells me right there on, the, on here, finance charges on overdue balance, invoice 206. Okay, so it assesses that. Assesses all these finance charges here. All right. So it automatically creates those invoices for me. If I go look at the uh, clients under the customer center here, if I go look at the client's balance here, it's going to have a an invoice called FC. They always do it as an FC for finance charge. So FC1, it'll be there. But most important, when you go and create your statements, all right, so we're going to create the statement for 731. And it's going to be for all open transactions and for Babcock's music and preview it here. So you can see here again, here's the invoice. They had a statement charge. And then here's the uh, FC invoice for a finance charge. All right, so then they can tell what is really due. So they really owe $805.02. And also notice that the finance charges are marked as a current. They're still currently due because, you know, they, we've got to give them a little bit of a grace period there, right? So that is how you set up and assess finance charges.